Hello everybody. As you know, turkey is a must have for Thanksgiving. And so what I did yesterday is I took some Elk Creek brine with a gallon of cold, cold, cold water, put it in my brine bucket and let it set overnight. And now it's ready to take out. And this Elk Creek has so many, I mean, you can smell all the nice herbs and everything it's gonna to take to make this thing delicious. So, I got me a little pan here, a little rack just to keep it off the very bottom. And I'm gonna pat this down, clean it up a little bit, and we'll season this backside, turn it over, season the front side. All right, as you can see, I seasoned both sides real good. I like to use the duck fat on any kind of poultry, especially poultry because seasoning doesn't always want to stick to chicken or turkey skin. And this little tool, you see me going around the sides, just use a spatula. That helps get everything uh, on the hard to reach places. Get a nice even coat everywhere. Uh, I pin these wings. You don't have to, I just did it that way at the end of the cook. Everything looks uh, a lot more presentable. I'm gonna leave this on for now because again, uh, holding these legs together, it's just gonna be more presentable at the end. I'll cut that off uh, when it's time to present. I got the Pits and Spits pellet grill going about 300 degrees. I'm gonna throw this baby on there and uh, we'll see you outside in a little bit. All right. This Pits and Spits is doing its job. This turkey's looking fabulous. Give me a little support of duck fat. And I know that this thing's not cooking perfectly even, so just for good measure, I'm gonna turn it. Give this side a shot of duck fat. This thing's looking beautiful. We're all gonna be lucky to eat. here i'm real happy with how this turkey turned out only disappointing thing is we're kind of split up here at the top it's going to eat the same it's just uh aesthetically not as pleasing uh you can see how the wings stayed it right there so you know makes for a nice presentation the legs are right there where we want them to be uh the the smell coming off this thing is fantastic I didn't glaze it with anything because normally when I eat turkey, I'm eating it with mashed potatoes and gravy and cranberries. Kind of wish I had all that right now. But you could glaze it. Uh, it'd really shine it up nicely if you, if you uh, wanted to glaze it, you know, for presentation reasons, if nothing else. Uh, but let's cut into this thing and see what it looks like. I hope I don't have a Clark moment here. Uh, from Christmas vacation that blow up on me, but we'll see.
Say goodbye. I'm very happy. Man, you can just taste the earthiness from that Cam Day's Elk Creek turkey brine and mixed with uh, my SA and Alamo dust. It's just fantastic. Very tasty. Try this, you will not be disappointed. Let's carve up some more of this and see what we got. carved up got my wings my drumsticks all the white meat the dark meat pieces that still have a little skin on it gonna be the best so be the first one to the table that way you get the best pieces try this at home like and subscribe to the channel give me any comments or any ideas you'd like to see for future cooks let me know god bless